A pastor in New Bedford is being held without bail tonight as he faces some shocking charges. A dangerousness hearing was held for 44-year-old Pastor Elmer Perez, who faces charges including rape and kidnapping. Eyewitness News reporter Anita Buffoni joins us now live in studio with why the judge says Perez is a danger to the community. Anita. Well, Caroline, the prosecution laid out disturbing details in court today about an alleged sexual assault that took place in October at the New Bedford Church. The judge ordered Elmer Perez be held for up to four months pending trial. Any objection? No objection. Approach. Prosecutors no. described the alleged facts in this case as a pattern of predator behavior. He's trying to kiss people. He's trying to get them to refer to him as a man and not their priest. Uh, all of these things uh, suggest that this is what this defendant does. The alleged incident involved a 28-year-old female parishioner who says she was raped by Perez inside the Iglesia de Jesucristo Church on Acushna Avenue. The defense called the church parishioner to take the stand to try and dispute statements made, including how and if Perez locked the alleged victim inside the church during the incident. The defense says Perez is an active member of the community and has been with the church for 11 years. Judge, find this man not dangerous. Allow him to walk out of here with personal recognizance as a person with his standing in the community. But the judge is held without bail. found Perez a danger to the community. I can't believe it. People inside a neighboring business were shocked by the allegations. It's kind of crazy. It is crazy. And I think, like, you know, any human being that be doing that stuff, that kind of rape and stuff like that, it should be in bars. Now, the prosecutors say some of his alleged victims and Perez himself are not in the United States legally. Now, coming up new at 6, hear more from the attorneys in court and reaction from people in the neighborhood. I'm Anita Buffoni, Eyewitness News. Now to disturbing allegations against a local pastor. Today in court, the prosecutor didn't mince his words when making his case against Pastor Elmer Perez. I argue, Your Honor, that the facts of this case suggest a classic patter, a pattern of predator behavior from this defendant. He's using his role in this church and in this community as an individual that people trust. Perez is facing charges of rape, kidnapping, and several other charges. Tonight, we're learning more about the accusations, and we also have new reaction from the neighborhood. Eyewitness News reporter Anita Buffoni joins us now from the newsroom with the new details. Anita. Well, the charges allegedly uh, took place following an incident that happened in October involving a female parishioner. In the end, the judge found that Elma Perez was a danger to the community and held him without bail. The defense in this case described Elmer Perez as an active member in the community with no criminal record. Judge, find this man not dangerous. Allow him to walk out of here with personal recognizance as a person with his standing in the community. But the prosecutors painted a different picture, asking Perez be held without bail. The defendant be kept out of the community that he's exploiting for his own sexual benefit. I don't know how that can be done if this defendant isn't held. Among the charges, Perez is being accused of raping a 28-year-old female parishioner inside the Iglesia de Jesucristo Church in New Bedford. Whether Perez locked the victim inside the church was debated at Thursday's dangerousness hearing. Prosecutors say five other women have come forward with similar allegations. These individuals are afraid to come forward because they have immigration consequences. And I'd argue that that's what makes the population that this defendant has been targeting an easy target for him. According to the prosecution, Perez himself is not legally in the United States. Customers in a neighboring barber shop were shocked by the news. And it concerned me a lot because, you know, I have kids and it's kind of like, you know, it's not, it's not cool at all. I can't, I can't believe it. Okay. Now the defense says that Perez has been with the church for 11 years and the judge held him without bail for up to four months while awaiting trial. In the newsroom, I'm Anita Buffoni, Eyewitness News.